Not really. Honestly, um, we've seen this so many times with Steph. Um, he, uh, all it takes is one. And, uh, I thought he was pressing a little bit early, but um, I was never concerned. This guy's a two-time MVP, and he bounces back from bad games as well as anybody I've ever seen, so good to surprise me. Uh, Mark or Dana Bay Area for News Group. You see, what do you think helped uh, open the game up in the third quarter? Uh, excuse me? What do you think help, helped open up the game? Uh, the tonight was just all about defense and taking care of the ball. That's, um, that's it. That's it. Um, when we defend like that and we take care of it, um, and we're not giving anything easy and we're making them earn every point, um, that's, that's what this is all about. If we, if we can defend at that level and protect the ball, we're generally going to be in good shape. Steve Logan Murdoch of the Bay Area News Group. Um, there was a stretch in the first quarter where Kavon Mooney, he, he blocked Mbaugh Mute on one possession and then played great defense on um, Eric Gordon on the next possession and it kind of made a free fall on that run. What has he been for you guys in this series and what has he been for you guys this well, Loon is a good matchup uh, in this series because of all the isos, because of the one-on-one -on -one play. Uh, you need Bates who can switch out and, and uh, recover. Chris and James are so tough to handle, and um, Loon's really good at that. So he's gotten better and better all season, and uh, you know we're thrilled with how he's played, thrilled with how Nick Young has played defensively, staying in front. That's what this series is, is about for us, is how well can we defend without fouling. Uh, they make it really hard on you with all their shooting and their one-on-one -on -one play. But uh, we've had a lot of guys step up and uh, play good defense. And I thought Loon Loon was great tonight. Steve, back to me. Um, curious. You you, two? Yeah. <laughs> there's there's <laughs> more room and you get two. They got to raise their hands faster. Um, um, did yeah. you okay now? I think he's it's a twenty-five hundred dollar fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'll talk to my editors. Um, you talk so much about force going into this game. What is Andre Iguodala's role when it comes to force? And uh, he looked like he came up a little bit with something tweaked in his leg in the fourth quarter. Is he okay? There? Yeah, I think he's okay. He got banged on the knee. Uh, I think it was like a knee on knee type thing. He said he'll be all right. But um, you know, when we're right, uh, when we're playing how we are supposed to play, Andre's right in the middle of it. It's defense and it's being smart making good decisions. And uh, Andre is one of the guys who uh, seems to set the tone for that for us. And I thought he uh, did a great job on that tonight. Hey, Steve, Phil Barber, Santa Rosa Press Democrat. Uh, Rockets were taking it right at Steph again from the start. And before his shot was falling, he was driving to the basket pretty well. I know everyone wants to talk about his pretty shot, but on a night like tonight, how important is his toughness? Well, he's, uh, he's underrated. Steph is underrated for uh, the, the toughness factor. But you don't become two-time MVP just by shooting a bunch of threes. You know, he's, uh, he's got unbelievable uh, stamina and uh, physical toughness, mental toughness. You know, for four days, everybody's been talking about him. And um, what, what he did tonight didn't surprise any of us. It's, it's just who he is. He's got unbelievable character and great talent. and. It always rises when it needs to. Tim Kalik on the athletics. It looked like maybe you were trying a little different defensive strategy to play the pick and roll early, and you maybe scrapped it after a few possessions. That would happen. Were you looking to hedge a little bit more to pick and roll, and did you just kind of go play it straight up after that? Uh, no, we, we actually didn't change anything uh, to start the game, but they hurt us a couple of times. They made a couple of nice plays, getting the ball into the paint. Capella got a couple of lobs. So we took a timeout just to uh, – Sort of clarify what our defensive strategy was, but we didn't we didn't really make a lot of changes. We tweaked a few things here and there, but for the most part, uh, you know, we're playing the same way. They're playing the same way. We just uh, you know we played play a lot better, obviously tonight. Jane, calling from AP. What um, the way you guys were able to defend and then get out in transition? How how did that work exactly? How you know you guys were hoping. Get that game yeah, well, that's always the key for us. When we defend, um, then we can get out and run. Uh, Houston's a very good defensive team, uh, and they have made it tough on us. Um, they're doing a lot of good things, but if we can get stops, we know we can get out and transition and get much better shots. So uh, that's that's the whole key: is getting stops and not fouling, not reaching, not letting the game stop, and let them get to the foul line and uh, keep things going and keep the pressure on.
Mark Spears, ESPN. Steve, what was the key to Steph's improvement defensively this game, and uh, how quickly do you think, or what did you think he learned from the previous game defensively? I, I just think that we were so much better as a team defensively tonight uh, that it, it, you know, I may have uh, shown up um, you know, that, that Steph played better, but it was really everybody. And when the whole team plays well defensively, each individual is going to look like he played better too. Um, Steph's been battling this whole series with all these guys coming off and trying to take him off the dribble. and um, It's a lot of work, but he's, he's, he's standing up really well. Money from NBC Sports Bay Area. Steve, I mean, obviously 17 rebounds speaks for itself, but what else did you see from Draymond, particularly on the defensive end tonight? It looked like he was in the middle of a lot of things. Oh my gosh, Draymond, uh, you know, there's just, there's nobody like him, honestly. Uh, I don't I don't know another player who is like Draymond uh, in, in this league. His ability to impact the game in so many ways defensively, um, getting out on the Harden and Paul and, and switching and then rebounding and staying in Capella's legs and trying to pack the ball away on lobs and you know, protect the rim without fouling. Uh, Draymond is uh, he's just a tremendous defender and I thought his performance tonight was uh, was unreal. Coach Carter, Tony, Tony Harvey, Sacramento Observer. Uh, the Warriors did it tonight. They eclipsed uh, the Bulls' record at home, the team, 16 straight consecutive wins. Could you comment on, you know, a feat like that? Uh, we're, we're in the middle of a hell of a run, obviously. We've got great great players who are committed and uh, they take a lot of pride in protecting our home floor. And um, so I'm, I'm really proud of them. I'm just I'm proud of what they've been able to accomplish the last few years. But um, make no mistake about it, the game four will be incredibly difficult. Um, we know what's coming. And so we're not paying attention to any of that stuff. Uh, you can ask Raymond for all the stats and all the records and everything else. But we got we to gotta be ready for the force that's coming from them in game four. Archbander, Archbander.com and other websites. <laughs> I was going to ask you. I'm going to Artspander.com. <laughs> uh, I was going to ask you about game four. Coaches don't like to say this is a must win or this game is bigger. And yet, you certainly don't want to go back there even. And holding a 3-1 lead gives you a great advantage. So how, how big is game four? It's a huge game. Uh, it's, it's kind of the swing game of the series. And, uh, you know, we're right where we want to be, but we're not... Uh, naive enough to think that uh, what happened tonight is an indication of what will happen uh, in a couple of days. So um, we've got to be prepared and ready for everything they're bringing and uh, see what we can do. Steve, uh, Dan, like the LA Times, you said I think earlier this week that Steph Curry and Oracle Arena is such a, a, a good combination. Why do you think that is? And, and what does it do to the rest of the guys on the court when he kind of starts to go and the crowd comes yeah. along the way. Well, I think most teams play better at home. I mean, I think that's documented. But with our team, the way we play and what we rely on uh, with Steph, he seems to feed off the energy of the crowd. And I thought you saw that tonight. You know, everybody was trying to will him early to, to making one of those threes. He was missing. And then you know, once the dam broke in the third quarter, um, uh, fans are – they're, uh, they're just so happy when Steph scores. I mean, there's just this synergy between the fans and Steph, and um, it's fun to be a part of and fun to fun to experience. Coach Slogan Murdoch again with the Bay Area News. Group. I saw that Jordan Bell got um, got a little bit of early minutes. Was that um, was that because of you know, maybe David West uh, struggles with his? With his, his no, I, but, um, honestly, I wasn't exactly sure how I was going to play. Um, in the backup five room. Um, we went into the game thinking we're going to see how the game goes and adapt from there. And um, when Looney got in foul trouble, uh, I just wanted to stay with our uh, more mobile defenders on the perimeter, and so I went to Jordan instead of David. But that doesn't mean David's out of the, the loop by any means, so we're going to still need him um, you know, in this series. And if we're fortunate enough to, to move on, we'll need him in the next one. Two more. Yeah, Coach uh, Steve Bicker, KCBS. Seemed like Sean Livingston was essential to the win tonight. Can you address his role? Yeah, I thought Sean was great. He was very aggressive. I think he got nine shots up, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we need his offense. Uh, 
it's a small game, obviously, when you play Houston, the floor is spread. And Sean's not a three-point shooter, but he's a great driver, a uh, great mid-range shooter, great post-up guy. So I thought his uh, his play at both ends was very important. Anthony Sayer with The Athletic. Uh, just how important has Steph's ability to get to the rim and willingness to go to the rim a lot helped him even through these shooting struggles in the fourth quarter? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I think he's consistently gotten to the rim in the first three games of this series and, uh, and scored. Uh, so that's why I didn't think there was anything physically going on with me. He's looked great the last couple of games, uh, getting past his, his man and uh, finishing at the rim. So he did that again tonight. But the difference, obviously, was he, you know, he got the three-point shot going, too.